Scripture tells us here to learn to live as one flesh together. This is really the key to a healthy marriage, learning to make decisions that way, to love each other that way, to operate as one flesh together. This means you can't ever allow anyone or anything to come between you. And while family and friends will continue to be part of your lives, from this day on, the most important person in your life is holding your hand. When I first saw you all those years ago, I told myself, I'm going to date that guy one day. And then last year, you'd reach out to me on my birthday. And then after our first date, we've been inseparable since. So instead of dating you, I get to marry you. You have been my biggest supporter, something I never had before. You show me what it means to love unconditionally, to truly care for someone, and how to work hard to achieve my dreams. You have been my greatest adventure, my travel partner, sometimes a bad influence, like those times we make excuses not to go to the gym, and then you persuade me it's okay to eat a large pizza and loaded tots with you. We've already shared so many memories. I can't wait for the lifelong memories we're about to experience together with our strong gymnast guitar shredding kiddos. I love you so much, Dan. Courtney Murray, I remember the days when I first admired you from afar at the gym where we first met. You had a certain kind of peace, warmth, sweetness, and charm to your personality, and I couldn't help but think that a woman like you is the kind of woman that I hope to call my wife and raise my children one day. And what do you know, here we are. One of the things I enjoy the most about you is your ability to bring me peace. I'm sure there are many words that come to mind when any of you think of describing my personality, but I certainly don't think peaceful is a word that I think anyone in here in their right mind would use to describe me. Words cannot describe how excited I get when I start thinking about the future that God has set aside for us, and I'm eternally thankful and grateful to Him that I have the opportunity to experience the rest of my life with such a beautiful, wonderful, and godly human being such as yourself. I know that these are called vows for a reason, so I did want to mention a few more things. I promise that I will commit myself to being the most godly man that I can be, and constantly pushing myself to be a better man and better follower of Christ, so that our marriage may thrive to its fullest potential. I promise to always protect you, support you, cherish you, pursue you, and prioritize you over all else in my life. I promise to always push you to be the best Christian woman that you can be, and to also let you take excessively long naps. <laughs> and to also let you take excessively long naps from time to time when you need them most. I promise to love you to the fullest, that my being is capable of for the rest of my days, till death do us part. Every moment has led us to this day. Every journey there. To this place, we're filled with wonder that words couldn't ever contain. This is what we I now pronounce you husband and wife. Danny, you can kiss your bride.